Hey everyone, welcome to my behind the scenes photo shoot with Marlon. Joining us is my good friend Justin, who is not seen on camera from time to time, but he is also a photographer, and he is helping us capture some extra behind the scenes footage. Our location is the Hopkins Wilderness Park in Redondo Beach, California. On a beautiful windy day setting, I'm using a combination of available light with strobes. My strobes are the Godox AD200 Pros paired with small reflectors plus diffusers. And my camera is the Sony a7 III paired with the 85 Sigma lens f1.4. I wanted the theme of this entire shoot to look like something not from California, but more of something from the woods and not something from the beach. If anything, more like Portland or Oregon. The first outfit Marlon is wearing is a green dress with brown boots that blend in with the wilderness setting. As well as having her hair in a ponytail paired with a hair clip to keep it all together. She is seen sitting on a wooden brown bench for the first couple of photos, then is seen standing for the next. The second setting and location is another part of the park. She is wearing a brown coat jacket, but is still keeping her brown boots and green dress underneath. The next couple of photos are completely shot with just natural light and no artificial lights or strobes. We then moved a couple of feet towards a nearby bush so that I could shoot from behind it, while Marlin posed with the same natural light, but instead making the vibe even moodier. For the next couple photos, we still stayed in the same area, but decided to change to a new outfit that Marlin had available. This next attire consisted of an orange coat with brown boots, a long black shirt, and a green skirt. Marlin had also decided to lay her hair down instead of having it in a ponytail. I used the structure's wall as a natural reflector to bounce light into Marlin during the shoot. In the last location where I used my strobes paired up with orange color gels and honeycomb grids to help focus the light to mimic the lighting from the sun hitting the tree branches during sunset. We shot from different angles during this last time frame because the park was near closing. We got some fantastic shots throughout this shoot and we couldn't be happier. Well guys, thanks for sticking by and hope to see you on the next one. Peace.